Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you'll be doing well. Today we're finally going to open the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet booster box. If I'm not mistaken, these should be 36 booster packs. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm very excited. It's the first time I had the chance to open up a complete booster box. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you were to actually hold the box in your hands, you can even smell the freshness off of it, which sounds a bit weird, but it's something I like. Just seeing all these packs give me a huge flashback to the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh days when I was a kid at school. And I'm actually glad I have the chance to enjoy this trading card game stuff a lot more now I'm done uh, studying and I have a work and a house and everything. So starting off with our first pack of today, and it's a Miraiden in France. Starting off our pack with the Meditite, followed by Energy Search Trainer card, the Grimer, here we have the Bruxish. I can say that at least better than last time. Another cool looking Zangoose card. A Youngster Training card. The Fluffy. A Reverse Holo Riolu. With a very nice artwork of him dancing in the moon. Fighting in the moon. I don't know. Followed by... Ooh! Look at that. We just pulled him right an X card. I didn't expect to pull a special illustration rare straight of a bat, but just look at this card. It's very beautiful. And I think it goes together with the art set of the Violet promo card. Let me just grab him. I still don't have a binder yet, by the way, the binder should come out tomorrow in my area. But let's have a look. So as you can see, it seems to be the same kind of setting. But I actually prefer this card. The artwork is a bit more detailed, more in dimension, and in overall it Gives a very cozy and nice atmosphere. That, that was a very great pull for a first pack. Can't wish for anything else, to be honest. And then we have the Cloth Hollow card. Alright, awesome. This card does not only deserve a sleeve, but also a case. Look at that. I'm predicting that I'm gonna have a lot of work cut out for me after the binder comes in and I have to sort all these cards because I've already had back to. Lead trainer boxes, a few booster packs, and now we have to sort out a card from the booster box as well, but no worries. Here we go with the second pack. If last time we got a Miraiden with a Miraiden cover in front, then this time I'm hoping for the Coraiden EX card, but eh, who knows, maybe it's a bit too much to ask. And we start off our pack with a Starly, followed up by the Tyruntula, a Wattrell, the Crocorock, Team Star Grand Trainer cards, a Lucario, the Rock Chestplate Trainer card, a Reverse Hollow Blissey, a Reverse Hollow Drifloon, and the last card of our second pack will be the. Oh, it's a Miraiden Hollow card. So, yes, it's one of the two legendaries, but no, it's not the Coriden EX card, but I don't mind. There we go, Army Raiden Hollow card. Up to pack number three, who's it gonna be? I hopefully it's a Scarlet and Violet Gyarados. Starting off our third pack with the Cacnea. Followed by a Sandile, Mareep, Silicobra, another Blissey, the Tatsurugi. I still haven't looked up what it actually is supposed to be, if it's like an existing type of fish or not. Jack Trainer card, a Reverse Hollow Wattrell, a Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and our last card of the pack is the Hollow Palmo. Here we are at pack 4 already. I thought that this was actually gonna take a while, you know, unboxing like 8, 36 different packs, but uh, it seems we're getting there. We're going a little bit faster than I anticipated. Starting off this pack with the Monkey, uh, I mean the Mankey, sorry. I've been watching Hitmonkey as of late, the Marvel animated series, and that's why I said Monkey instead of Mankey. After that we have the Squawkabilly. It's an original concept for Pokemon, uh, with the calling him Billy and then his hairdo like that. Yeah, I think it's funny. Um, a little shout out to the 60s maybe. After that we have Capsicate running through what seems to be a vineyard of hot peppers. And then we have the Elomomoma card. I find the artwork here to be uh, intriguing. 
if you look at it we have um, the northern lights in there and you have a lot of detail and uh, special effects in the drawing and the Lomomomas itself almost looks like it's been drawn in 3d style while the rest of the picture is in 2d so it gives a lot of depth and dimension to this card and i absolutely love it our next card here i couldn't pronounce this guy's name right until randolph uk actually said it in a video here we have the sea titan thanks randolph for your help after that we have the flaffy a youngster training card a reverse hollow slow bro the reverse hollow didene and last card of the pack Ooh, so we got this bit ups double rare ex card it's nice it's another addition to the collection uh, i have a few of the exes already not counting the mirai the ex we just pulled but i was thinking more like toxic rook and banette uh, so it's nice we have not ex card to fill up this collection so before we pull the spit up CX, I was gonna say that a lot of the cards we've pulled already are quite recurring cards, like the Did Any Reverse Hollow and the Slowbro Reverse Hollow. But as you can see, we still have some variation, some new cards here and there. A very good rare pull so far. So I can't actually complain. And we'll put these into the sorting box. That's tomorrow's job. Pack number five, Bill and I. All right, here we have our pack starting off with the B-Sharp. I also know there's the King Gambit card in this collection and so far I haven't pulled it yet but I'm very excited for it. After that we got Riolu, different than the reverse holo Riolu card we pulled earlier. And then a Go-Goat, doing his thing on the mountains. A Scatterbug, then we have the Flora Gato card. Experience Share Trainer card, the most broken item nowadays. Stone Journer, a reverse holo Cyclozar. And I actually like this artwork a lot better than the holo Cyclozar card. It has a uh, more depth to it and more finesse, so I'm more a fan of this one. Then we have the reverse holo magnemite. Ah, there he is, the normal holo cyclizar. Let's just compare these two. My preference definitely goes to the artwork of the reverse holo card. Let me know down in the comments which card you think has the better artwork, the cyclizar holo card or the reverse holo card. Moving on, pack number six. This one's for the chicks. Uh, I mean, of course, all the lovely ladies out there. Please don't sue me. Starting off our pack with the Palmo card. So far we've only pulled Hollow Palmos. This one is a different one. So it's nice to actually have the normal one as well. Then we have Toad School. And what I've noticed here is that both Palmo and Toad School, I have these cards in Hollow and they are different artworks than the normal cards. So I'm wondering in this Scarlet and Violet expansion, if every Hollow card has a new artwork that's different from the normal cards. I think we'll find out pretty quickly once I get my binder here. Then we have the Rotom, another card I haven't pulled yet. Chansey, a Blissey, back to back, trainer card Jacques, another Florigato, the reverse holo fortress, followed by reverse holo Meowscarada, and our last card of the pack is the holo Meowscarada. Okay, I didn't expect this. After getting used to the Scarlet and Violet booster packs, I actually find that the silver borders make the holo cards and reverse holo cards pop out a little bit more than the classic yellow borders we're all used to. So in my opinion, it's a very good and positive change. All right, next up, I actually lost count on how many packs we were at, at this moment. This should be my seventh pack, right? Let's just open it up. Starting off with the Shoppets, followed by a Sprigatito, the Houndor, Driploon, Penny Trainer card. Ooh, here we have the Medicham, Quaxwell. Ooh, okay. Uh, Hollow Grow Light, Hollow Energy Search Trainer card, and last card of the pack is Hollow Professor's Research card. I'm sorry, I actually said Hollow card with the Reverse Hollow Energy Search and Reverse Hollow Grow Lights. So unlike the Scarlet Lee Trainer box that we've opened up last week, uh, we have we've had no double packs no double booster packs in this box so far it was quite an ex interesting experience also i mean getting in a booster box where all my packs were double basically all my packs were double except for the rare cards it's still a bit funny if it occurs to you once but if it would have happened to me with a whole booster box with 36 packs yeah i would have cried a little because 18 double packs even if the rare cards were different wouldn't be that much um wouldn't bring me that much excitement so i'm glad we don't encounter the same problem here Starting off our next pack with a rare candy trainer card. Followed by the Fido, a Dedene, Pineco, a Zangoose, Stone Journer, the Penny trainer card. 
Ooh, here we have the reverse hollow cloud, sir. With a very cool artwork. Look at my dude here. Awesome. After that, ooh, I didn't expect this one. This is very cute and very nice. So you actually got the illustration rare Riolu. Look at it. This is definitely my favorite card of this expansion so far. There's also so much detail in it. Like, if you look up closely here, you can see the Rioli, the Lucario painting uh, that has fallen down, the scratches in the wall, everything he used, and he just looks so innocent. Actually kind of reminds me a little bit about my dog when he does something wrong and you walk in the room. You can't just help but forgive the little guy here. Very nice. And after the Rioli, we pull the Skeleturg Hollow card. This and uh, also the Miraiden EX card we pulled are actually the kind of cards I expect to pull from a full booster box. So I'm very happy about this. On to pack number 9. Starting off with the Sea Tuttle. A Varum. Here we have a Magikarp. A Magnemite. A Cyclizar. Toadscrew. A Mouse Halt. A Reverse Hollow Capsicid. A Reverse Hollow Smoliv. And the last card of our 9 pack is the Ho Annihilate card, which we already have, so it's a bit of a shame, but still. Seeing as I'm relatively early with the Scarlet and Violet cards at this time and release of expansion, I might actually have enough cards and doubles to go trading around with other people, which is something I didn't really do before. But I can guess that um, demand for these cards and Scarlet and Violet are pretty high at the moment. So we'll look into that later. 